Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to another video and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to remove unwanted things out of the frame in your video shoot if you have a production flaws or production mistake. Without further ado, let's move on with the tutorial. So we are inside Adobe Premiere Pro right now and as you can see right at the left side, this is the final output. And the right side is the raw footage. It is really really annoying man. As you can see the microphone popping in and out. Anyway, so I've set up my timeline right here. The top clip being the electric guitar scene and the bottom clip is the acoustic guitar scene without the microphone and the pop filter in the frame. So the first thing you have to do is select the bottom clip and find a frame where the shadow is not hidden. This part right here where the microphone is in the frame. So just find a frame and then select your clip and right click and select frame hold options then source time code and OK. So right now the clip is frozen and yeah that is good. We can use it right now as a background or a base. Let's move on to the next step. So I selected the electric guitar scene, the top clip. And then I go to this panel right here, the effect controls. And then I scale it up a bit at around 102. 102 is fine. And also the bottom clip, select it and scale it up at around 102 again. Like so. And then just select the top clip again and lower the opacity at around 50%. So we can see the bottom clip and the top clip overlapping each other. And then I like zooming in my previous section so I can see it better. And then we have to align it like so. So right now it is aligned and set back the opacity again at 100. And let's move on to the next step. Select the top clip again and select this baby right here. This free draw base or the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Anyway. Draw around the microphone and the pop filter, like so. <laughs> oh, look at that face, man. <laughs> so I'm already done selecting the section right here. And the second thing you have to do is check the inverted checkbox. So the selection will be inverted. One final thing, guys. We have to add lots of feather with our selection. If you don't know what is the use of feathering, I'm going to show you. So as you can see right now, this this is a really really sharp edge. And what the feather will do is soften it out. And for me, I like adding at around 30% of feathering in my maskings. And as you can see right now, that baby is smooth. <laughs> By the way guys, if you want to check out my cover of Tim Alex Let Me, the link is in the description. So that's it for our video guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button down there and share it to your friends because you don't want to be selfish. If you want more videos like these, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified for my next upload. And if you have any requests just leave a comment down below and before i leave before i go before we end this video i just want to say shout out and thank you to my friends and my family and to my girlfriend who has been there to my dark days yeah I and mean, i was really really depressed you know i just want to thank you guys for being there for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway i almost forgot man and there's also another thing that I added in the post. You might want to check it out and look for it. <laughs> the link is here and in the description down below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again for another video.